Dylan Hendricks is in the middle of his sentence for manufacturing a controlled substance, serving time at the Loxley Work Release Center. With the growing threat of the coronavirus, his fiance Kylie Herring says he and a lot of inmates need help. They're going to have so many deaths on their hands otherwise. And I mean, morally, I don't know why that's not enough. She says Hendricks is severely asthmatic. And she says contracting COVID would almost certainly be fatal, a punishment far outweighing what he did. He knows he did his crime. He's never denied it. He owns up to it, but he's not a criminal. He's an addict who let his addiction control him. He wakes up every day and chooses sobriety. Herring says conditions in Loxley are so cramped, inmates can't keep their distance even if they wanted to. So cruel and unusual. It's insane. It's, we don't treat dogs the way we treat people. And now we don't know if we'll get to see him. And every time he calls, my kids run to the phone and tell him they love him just because they are, don't know if it's going to be their last. And that's a horrible anxiety for anyone to feel. Herring, a home health care nurse, says she's already seen people die from COVID and doesn't want the same to happen to him. In Baldwin County, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.